paperback parade, a sampling of some of our previous issues. Hi, I'm Gary Lovisi, and I'm the editor publisher of Paperback Parade, the longest running magazine on vintage paperbacks and collectible paperbacks. Uh, the latest issue just came out. It's number 115, and it's been published since 1986. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's going for uh, going strong for about 35 years, 36 years now. But I had a lot of people recently asking for uh, for back issues and asking uh, certain uh, collectible uh, topics that uh, appear in back issues, and uh, I figured that it would be a good time opportunity to let you know about some of these previous issues and what the contents are in some of them. So I'm going to go through a few of them right now. Just take just chosen from random. This is issue number 94, and it has a article on King Kong in paperback. All the King Kong books, paperback books, with the information about the books, the stories, the movies. Great artwork, great covers. And this other, also, um, Milton K. Ozaki, crime writer, is featured in this issue, um, as well as uh, as well as uh, the the, uh, the Earl Norum books, uh, which have uh, great covers by uh, by uh, Rob, some of them have great covers by Robert McGuire, uh, Kill, Kill Me in Tokyo, Kill Me in uh, in Shim, Shimabasha, Shim, Shimbasha, Shibashi, Kill Me in Ginza. That's a uh, Japanese um, crime series, Private Eye. And then there's other, When Worlds Collide, an article on that uh, book and movie. So there's some nice things in this issue. King Kong special. This is uh, all girls, all about girls, Sexy Good Girl Art cartoon paperbacks. What issue number is that? And that's number 97. Thank you. And uh, so here is an article on all of these various late 40s and early 50s uh, various publishers. Sexy Girl cover, uh, cover art. Some of them have Bill Wenzel cover art uh, and others. So and is the cover uh, illustration the primary yeah, and uh, they, article in each issue, or yes, and uh, <coughs> um, there's the uh, most of the books are cart these are cartoon books, so they're they're loaded with cartoons. Even this uh, Zest magazine with a Bill Ward cover, you can see his signature here. I mean, and on the paperback parade, the cover issue, the cover story, the image on the cover is that the main story in the yes yes that's usually the main story uh there's another article in here on mutiny on the bounty paperbacks by dan roberts who was a great friend and collector uh, who passed away a few years ago this is probably his last article in paperback parade wrote many articles for me and this is on mutiny on the bounty and all of the various bounty uh paperback books bitcoin island men against the sea there's just so much, so much great stuff. Uh, number 99, we take a look at the War of the Worlds in paperback. So it's uh, the War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. That's the pocketbook edition. All information about these books. This is uh, Invasion of Mars. Was a was a kind of a sequel. To the War of the Worlds, there are some sequels. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, uh, War of the Worlds, the Second War of the uh, the Second War of the Worlds by George H. Smith, which is also another sequel. Invasion was another sequel. So there were a lot of people that wrote sequels to the War of the Worlds, and there are various really cool um, editions that uh, show the uh, Martian spaceships and uh, destroying the Earth. There's a lot of nice, a lot of nice issue, nice material on these. There's um, also we have 
how, well, we have an article on whipping in paperback, co paperback covers with whips, where uh, people use whips against each other, kind of a uh, off kind of uh, idea. Uh, Wolf Cop by Richard Jessup, uh, article, really good, good hard-boiled novel, uh, gold medal. Um, and then an uh, article on uh, The Untouchables, Elliot Ness, and all the various books. And then mob paperbacks, all the Mafia and Al Capone, Prime paperbacks, Dutch Schultz, Babyface Nelson, Mad Dog Cole, all of the books about these gangsters. So that's issue 99. Issue number 100, 100th issue, is a special issue on Treasure Island, Robert Louis Stevenson's classic, timeless classic, um, okay, there we go, and there's Robert Louis Stevenson right here, and this is the pocketbook first printing, and all the other different, the this is the quintessential pirate novel. This is the novel that started the whole idea of treasure and pirates and, and uh, uh, the brotherhood of piracy and the high seas. And um, Treasure Island was the first, uh, probably the, the greatest uh, pirate novel written. And it's the story of how it was written and um, all the different uh, editions. There's some sequels, there's prequels. A lot of uh, information on that article by uh, Ram Andrews on uh, Frank Frank Gruber, The Pulp Jungle. Uh, Frank Gruber was a terrific uh, pulp writer, uh, wrote crime and Western novels, and they were many reprinted in paperback. You can see them here. And uh, there's a lot, a lot in each issue. So. Just to give you an idea, this is uh, issue number 104, and it's a special on Carter Brown, uh, who was uh, Peter Yates, and these are the Carter Brown paperbacks. Um, and this is by Art Scott, um, the writer and the stories. That's Carter Brown with Peter Yates. And all of the various... Um, various signet paperback covers with all the artwork, uh, a lot of them by uh, Robert McGinnis, just beautiful, beautiful covers, terrific, sexy, good girl art, private eye, uh, paperbacks, uh, novels, and uh, with great, great good girl art covers, cover art, paintings, these are just terrific. I remember when I had Robert McGinnis at my, uh, one of my book shows years ago, and he came in and he came in and he brought like, under his arm he was carrying a whole bunch of, uh, uh, looked like boards or uh, you know, a very thin kind of, uh, kind of uh, cardboard boards. What it was, he, he, he had brought about 20 of the Carter Brown original paintings for the show and we, we displayed them. People went crazy looking at them. They were, they really love them. Um, all the Carter Brown editions. There's also uh, a John Russell Fern, uh, some of his uh, unknown uh, writings. Uh, and there's the, uh, the Mighty Midget series, which is a very interesting series of tiny little British books for children. Very, very cool. We've done a video on them in the past. Here's some of them. And just the last one is uh, number 108 um, with uh, the British pan books of Agatha Christie. Uh, and this is by Jules Burt. Um, and this is has all the, the books. Jules has a great... YouTube channel also. Jules has a great YouTube channel that you should all check out. 
and he's very knowledgeable uh, on, on paperbacks, especially uh, British Pan and Penguins, and um, you can always uh, find something uh, interesting on his uh, YouTube channel. And he does articles for, for, uh, for Paperback Parade and for many other magazines, for Justin Marriott, uh, Paperback Fanatic, and some of the other uh, places. And this is uh, all the Pan, Mercury Perot, Agatha Christie, vintage paperbacks, which are becoming more and more collectible and more and more sought after in nice condition. And they're really some nice, some nice books. And uh, there's also uh, Bruce Tinkle uh, contributed an article on the Monarch movie books, uh, Monster Crime, Jack the Ripper, Stranglers of Bombay, Brides of Dracula, Gorgo, and all about these books, which were really pretty cool. Um, and uh, I guess the last we're going to look at is uh, uh, Tom Lesser has a uh, article in here about the Titbits crime fiction. These were British 1950s digests, thin 60 or so, 80 page uh, digests, and there's a small, a short series of them. They're really, really cool, great cover art. They're just, they're just really nice. This great cover art, and this whole, the whole series is shown in there. And then uh, Jim Fitzpatrick in Canada contributed an article on uh, Harlequin westerns, and uh, some of the western novels and paperback books that were published by Harlequin Books up in Canada, which are really nice and they're kind of uh, kind of uh, uncommon. You don't see them that often, especially in nice shape. I mean, the Harlequins always kind of seem, they seem to have the, the covers rubbed. And uh, so that's a general look at the paperback parade. The issues are it's 100, uh, 100 or more pages each issue, full color and um, $15 per copy uh, plus postage. Uh, subscriptions are three issues for $40 uh, in the United States. Uh, outside the United States, you have to inquire uh, about postage. But um, just thought I'd show you some, uh, some of the contents and the, and the lead article features that we have in various issues of Paperback Parade, just a sampling, because there's a lot of good stuff out there that uh, you may not be aware of. Uh, these are issues that came out two or three years ago. We still have some in stock and people are always asking for them. And uh, just to let you know about them and uh, that you can uh, uh, find them on uh, eBay or uh, ABE or uh, through my website. And uh, you can enjoy some uh, really good reading, good articles, and uh, see some great, great cover art. So with that, I just want to thank you for looking and uh, hope you give us a thumb up and a like. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.